welcome to core program today in this video we discuss how to create wpf metro window using nmaps first we need to understand what is metro window metro is a design style and language developed by microsoft the design style's main objective is to remove any chrome and extra decoration and allow users to interact directly with the content windows 8 or windows 10 the main product of example of microsoft Next, we need to learn what is MHOPS Metro and what it used for. MHOPS Metro overrides the styles of the default controls and gives them into a Metro slope. MHOPS Metro also includes some custom controls based on concepts of Windows Phone and Windows 8 apps. For more details, you can visit the link. This is the typical WPF window. This window is doesn't to be seen to be stylish. To get rid of this, MHOPS provides the awesome look and features of the metro window. For achieving this window, let's create a WPF application and see how the MHOPS integrate into WPF application. So let's get started. So let's create a WPF application. File, new project, then set your path, then choose as Windows desktop and WPF app.net framework. Then set your project name WPF Metro Window. Then click OK. It will create the application for a while. Yeah, the application is now be created. Let's take the window into vertical split and go to the solution explorer, then manage NuGet packages. Let's install MHOPS Metro through NuGet packages. You can also install the MHOPS Metro through package manager console. The link is shared in the description box. You can find that. So right here, MHOPS that metro right then click install then click ok it will install all the packages into our application it will take some time depending upon your internet speed yeah it is finished now go to the solution then build it when you extract the reference, you can see mhops.metro will be added here. Let's go to the code, then refer that code using mhops.metro.controls as we use the, all the controls. So that the controls and you look that is the main window is inherited from the window class. That is the predefined window class right all the content control and all the controls are defined here but we need to add mhops metro for this we need to add metro window here right then go to the update xml or the below resources for quicker process i just copy and paste and save it then go to the main window data xml then you need to add controls of metro window we need to add that right you can see the metro window will be added the controls metro window added then we need to add the level and one images on that so we need to add a level this is a metro window example suppose our text is that right then we need to add another level the text is core program right let's fix a margin for that on the left we get 200 and the top 50 then right left 00, zero right then we make the font size to be larger this font size is suppose 30 right and then here we said also the margin is is left 600 
sorry left is 600 and then 100 0 0 right then we need to add a image to adding the image just copy the image and in the solution folder add a new folder that is named as resources because of as you know that all the static file are hold into the resources it's the good practice so let's let's add a image source equal to our source is in the resources folder that is core program dot png right we fix the width and height also width equal to 100 and height equal to 100 as well so all the changes has been made just start it yeah, but you can see we need the setting and users to be added in the header section so how do we add this to adding this we need to add controls right then metro window dot write window commands right as you add all the details in the right side so we need to add the right window commands then we need to add controls of window commands controls that window commands right so let's uh, add a button and a text box so add a button then add a just a panel whose orientation set as raise intel as you want to show as raise intel then we declare a text block set as margin 4 0 as 0 then vertical alignment as center then text equal to users we set all the required changes and then now run the project now we see we done our sample application also you can set maximize or minimize or you can close the maximize minimize by choosing here if you set window state equal to maximized then you can see it automatically maximized right suppose you want to set the border brush color suppose we set red you can see the border is set as red suppose we want to show our icon in the header then how to do that we set as icon equal to dot then our images in the resources folder then set as core program dot png right the icon is append on the header section so far in this video we elaborate what is metro window what is m hubs metro and what they use for it and uh, how to use the m hubs control in the wpf as well in the next video we'll see how to use m hubs metro icon in wpf also how the m hubs metro added into our list box so we can drag and drop easily that's it in the video for more interesting videos you can subscribe to core program thanks for watching see you soon